In Austin Kleon's book, Show Your Work, there's a quote by novelist John le Carré. The cat set on the mat is not a story. The cat set on the dog's mat is a story. I thought of this when flipping through an art book, I saw Vincent Van Gogh's chair. What if we remove the cat and the dog? Perhaps there's a story in an empty mat, or in this case, an empty chair. A storyteller with a strong imagination could quickly weave a magical tale. But for those of us working to develop this weakest of skills, it's a bit more difficult. Perhaps we can weave not a magical tale, but at least a wicker chair and the sketch of a story, well, behind it. Perhaps it was made by a craftsman living in the French countryside. Was he working on it after a coffee and croissant breakfast? Or déjeuner, as he would have called it, had he spoken French with an American accent? Or maybe he built it during a sleepless night, worrying about the health of his sick wife. Perhaps it was made by his 13-year-old son, keen to show off his growing skill to a father he admired and with whom he secretly competed. Or maybe it was assembled by a different hand altogether. A young man in his late teens could have made it absentmindedly, letting his hands assemble it from muscle memory the way other hands might play music. Perhaps he was dreaming of a better life, one of adventure and speed and wealth. And when Van Gogh sat in it, did he contemplate his haystacks? Or was he leaning back on its rear legs, smoking his pipe while he examined the starry night? The narrator's imaginative tank is empty, so the story must remain a very brief sketch. But there will be many more to come, because with sufficient imagination, an empty chair is never just an empty chair. Have a great day.